All right. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, if there is anyone watching, oh, zero viewers now. <laughs> but I think it's slow to uh, bring them in because it's going through this third party stream yard onto the YouTube stream. So let's hold on one second. There we go. All right. Welcome, everyone. Um, my name is Ryan Gerberding. I uh, am. I, well, I don't want to say I'm the director because I haven't really directed this, but I'm the one who brought this show into uh, the group and um, wrangled the actors and such. So um, I'm very glad to have you here. Um, this group started with uh, uh, Terry, who is uh, going to be playing Dev today. He uh, posted something on Facebook about he wanted to do a reading of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. So he got a group of us together and we did that, which was just for us. Um, there was no audience for that and it was super fun. So I wanted to do a reading of this play, Stupid Fucking Bird, which is one of my favorite plays. And um, I asked if we uh, would be able to have an audience for that, um, even though this is mostly just for us, sorry, audience. Um, it's, uh, it's the kind of play that needs uh, interaction. There are a couple places in this show that uh, have audience interaction. So um, when you are asked to interact, go ahead and uh, post a comment down below. Um, you should be able to, um, I'm gonna type one in just now, hold on. Um, now you guys should be able to see that in just a little bit. Um, so. There's a little bit of a delay between uh, this service and YouTube. So, but either way, uh, when you ask to interact, go ahead and post a comment down there. Um, oh, there we go, working great. Thank you, Eric. All right, and without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, Connor, take it away. Stupid Fucking Bird by Aaron Poster, sort of adapted from The Seagull, by Anton Chekhov. Act one. Khan comes on stage, perhaps alone, perhaps with the whole ensemble. He looks at us, the audience, and then talks directly to us. The play will begin when someone says, start the fucking play. By the lake, in the fall, late afternoon. Seriously? Why? Why do I... Yes, why? <laughs> what do you think? I... Um... Black is slimming. <laughs> Seriously. I'm in mourning. For my life, I'm unhappy. Wow. Okay. Uh, are you that unhappy? You're an idiot. Yeah, maybe, but... What? I, I, nothing. What? Uh, nothing, but... Look, my life is worse than yours. I, I mean, so much worse. And, and you don't see me wearing black. How is this? <laughs> I, I mean, sometimes, but it, it's not like, like a, a thing. But Jesus, my life is way worse than yours, you know? How is that even possible? I'm poor. I'm poor. I'm way poorer and, and, and lonely and, and, you know, it, sad most of the time. And I tutor kids for tests I utterly don't believe in, which is just an insane way to spend my time. Well, I'm, just... I'm a cook, part-time. That's not even a real job anymore. I mean, what is this, Downton Abbey? I have flat feet, which hurt, you know, all the time. Plus, I'm an orphan, so mm. that's... You know, unsettling. What are we, in a fucking Dickens novel? And I'm unhappy in love. I, I'm i unhappy in love. I mean, you know, I, I love you ridiculously. And, and you know, barely, you, you, you know, you barely tolerate me. But mostly, I'm really, really poor and, and lonely and 
chubby and I'm sorry, but that's actually much harder than mourning your lost, lone, love, lonely, broken, whatever. Ah. But you know, I'm still, whatever, hopeful. I still have hope, you know? Mm. Wow. Hope. You can be happy if you're poor. Yeah? Yes. Oh. Well, no. So, when is Conrad's thing starting? Soon. And what is it exactly? It's a site-specific performance event. What's a site? Yeah, it's kind of like a play, but not so stupid. Oh, huh, stupid. Mm-hmm. No one's pretending to be someone else. Oh. Then what do they do? They behave. They say things and do things or whatever, but they're not pretending to be, you know, Bob and Trudy. Like fucking five-year-olds playing house. It, it goes deeper than that. It's art. And Nina is in it, right? Yeah. That That's nice. That Khan and Nina can connect that way. That she can be part of his creation, part of his work. You know that that they have that in common. Mm -hmm. That they can connect on a whole other level while we... Just, just please just shut the fuck up, okay, for a minute? Could you just do that? Okay. Please? Okay. Please? I said okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, I just... I can't. This, this, I, I just can't, okay? I know. It sucks. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, Dev starts to see leave. You, see you at the thing? Mm -hmm. Mosh sits. Then turns to us. I wrote this. It sucks, but, okay, don't judge. You're born and then you live and then, then you die. You never get to know the reason why. You breathe and then you don't. You've just begun. You're hot, you rot, and then you're done. So where's a part of that, this, that, that, that this is fun? Life is a muddle, life is a chore, life is a burden, life is a bore. This apple is rotten right down to its core. Life is disappointing. You love and then you lose. That much is true and sure. That's just the way it is, you must concur. You hope and like a dope, you're wrong again. And then you try, you die, so why begin? It's all a game, you'll never win. Life is a muddle, life is a chore, life is a burden, life is a bore. This apple is rotten right down to its core. Life is disappointing. Oh, just shut up. By the lake. Near an ancient little outdoor stage, approaching dusk. Nina arrives, breathlessly, excited, exuberant, flustered, nervous. Hi, hi, hi! Where the hell have you been? I'm so sorry. How can you always be late? You're I like know, a genius of lateness. I'm sorry, I love you, I just well, couldn't... Okay, oh good, all right. She starts changing, donning makeup. She might be briefly semi-naked, or mostly naked, or naked enough to make Khan shake a bit. Can I just... Sure. Oh, I'm so nervous. You're gonna be great. I remember your mom performing down here when we were little. She was always just so unbelievably good. Yeah. Won't she kind of hate it that I'm performing here now? She'll love it. And are they really coming, both of them? I think so. She said so. The, you never know with my mother. What's he like? Who, Trigorin? Of course. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know. 
Oh, come on. You've met a bazillion famous people with your mom, but I never get to meet anyone, so I'm He's fine. He's, he's quiet and humble and, and, and unassuming in this very assuming little way that makes sure you can't help but notice how humble he is. Oh, I love his work. You do? I didn't know you'd read any, anything. Uh, not that much, really. Just the laughing dog laughed and his first book of short stories, the stark naked heart, but they're amazing. I've never read any. Are you almost ready? Do you, do you need to? Really? What? You've never read anything? No, why? Even since your mother and he have been. Especially since then. I mean, you know. No. Sometimes I don't think I understand you at all. Excellent. And on that note... Or your play, for that matter. Perfect. What if they don't talk when they're supposed to? They will. But what if they won't? Then they won't. What if they hate it? Then I'll shoot myself in the head. They won't hate it. What if they hate me? You're perfect in it. Radiant. Ideal. Though I'll fall completely in love with you. Trust me. I do. Good. Oh, look! What? Holy cows, he don'ts! Look at that seagull! So elegant. And I've never seen one so amazingly white like that. She's almost glowing from the sunset. Yeah, it's really pretty. Oh, just look at her, Connie. She's just floating up there above it all. Not a care in the world. That breaks my heart a little somehow. And it looks like we're wearing the same dress. <laughs> Are you, um, ready? I think so. Excellent. Have fun. I will. You're awesome. And you're a genius. And you're my only muse. Enjoy this. You enjoy it. No, you! <laughs> he grabs her and kisses her. Not long, but very nice. Folks enter to see the showing. Emma, his mother. Trigorin, her lover, a famous author. Dr. Sorn, Emma's older brother. Dev, Khan's best friend, and Mosh, his mom's cook, neighbor, helper. As they arrive, they set up chairs, and all while Khan finishes getting the stage ready, and Nina readies herself. Emma dominates the scene, as she does pretty much any scene or room she is in. She is always performing herself to some extent. No, I do. I do. I like art. I find it comforting. Well, good. Me too, I like art. <laughs> um, well, you might want to refrain from sharing that with certain people. Who? Artists, mostly. Artists don't like art? Well, no, actually. But that's the whole other thing. My point is most of them don't particularly strive to make art that's comforting, big brother. Oh, really? The poorer, the more tortured the artist, the better the art. I believe that's the conventional wisdom. <laughs> that should be a genius. Van Gogh and his like really fucked the goose on that one. You don't think it works that way. I think it is self-flagellating horseshit. <laughs> okay, then. I mean, certainly some great artists have suffered. Of course they have. But I'm sorry, I don't think abject misery or a, a, a reapy soul is the best measure of quality, no. Then what is? <sighs> Success. Oh. Well. Fascinating. <laughs> Truly? It may sound crass, but it's true. If people want to see something, want to pay their hard-earned money to see it, that means something, something tangible. But you're not saying unpopular art is bad art, right? No, but I'm sure it's fuck not saying it's better art either. Wait, so flatulating? What does that even mean? Flagellating. Oh. What isn't better art? Oh, the man of the hour. And speaking of tortured artists, our playwright. Do you need any help? Uh, no, thanks. I'm fine. Uh, how about Nina? Does she need anything? I think she's fine. Thanks. Okay. Uh, is everyone here? Of course. Well, thanks for letting me join you. Oh, sure. 
Although you've made my leading lady kind of nervous. She, yeah. Uh... Who, him? Nonsense! He's a pushover for a pretty girl. It's me she should be worried about. Perfect. You sure you don't need him? I'm fine. Excellent. You know, I was just saying to myself today I could use a good site-specific performance event to spice up the fall. Shut up. <laughs> uh, do we have to... Uh, Wear masks or something. Okay, so uh, thank you all for coming. The name of this piece is Here We Are. It's a work in progress. This is our first showing, so we are really just- We understand, you know, darling. It's just a rehearsal. No, not a rehearsal, a showing. Okay, it's not like we haven't... showing, sorry. Anyway, right, okay. Here we go. Lights out. Khan controls the lights and plays music. The music is haunting, lyrical maybe. The lights come up on Nina. She looks wonderful and sexy and surprising. Perhaps something that billows like the curtain behind her. It should be beautiful. Perhaps as she speaks, there's a simple movement vocabulary. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. This is real. This is true. This is new. This is now a new place, a liminal space, a place of grace and the boundless pursuit of beauty, a place where truth might be told, where streets are not lined with gold, but maybe just something better, unfettered possibility, lively maybes and vital why the Fuck nots. Not people like robots, all piping the same tune, the tried and untune, the nothing ever really knew. Not a fictional tract, but a fact. Not just art, but a start. Oh, Lord. So, here we are, aren't we? Aren't we here? You, Turning sir. Turning abruptly to Sorn. Are you here? Are you here? Um... Are you here? A simple question. Are you here with me, with we, now? Um, I think so. Good. And you, ma'am, are you here? It certainly seems that way. Oh. Emma? She asked the question. But... But if we're all really here, then where are we really? Place we've gathered. We're in my backyard. Shh. Well, are we supposed to answer, or aren't we? I'm just here. We are. Here we are. Not in a lie, not some time gone fable or far-fetched fairy tale, nothing stale. Not a retreat or a rehash, nothing tarnished or trashed by hacks or the hackneyed, by starlets or star turns, by husbands who've crashed and burned. This is just this. This is just this. This is just this. This is just this. This is just what it is. Not some bullshit showbiz, not a reference to another place or another time. Not some once upon a kingdom built on rhyme, but a meter, something sweeter. A place in a moment so patently untrue. It might just be new, so different in feel. It might be realer than real. So where are we now? Are you still in the same place you were five minutes ago? What is going on inside of you right now? I don't think she really wants to know. Please. Shh. Oh, come on. Is this a joke? Connie, is this really your play? Mother for Christ's uh, sake. What? What? She's tromping around on my backyard, on my fucking stage. Calm down now, sport. Wearing my dress and telling me what? That the plays I do are- It's not about you. Oh, really? All right, that's it. We're done here. Nina, get off the stage. She does, awkwardly and with all possible alacrity, looking at the dress she had no idea was one of Arcadina's old ones. Oh, is that part of it too? Pumpkin, Emma, please. Shouldn't. If you can't even, I mean, if you can't even, 
Fuck it. He storms away. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, now what the hell? I'll go find him, okay? What was that all about? You offended him. He, he offended was trying me. to impress you. Should I just... With that? Seriously? I thought it was kind of great. Oh, for fuck's sake. I was really feeling yeah, here. I, uh, um, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Tell him I want to talk to him, will you? Of, of course. She leaves quickly. She, she was really good. Yes, charming. Oh, come on. That pretentious drivel was an attack on me. He's trying to show me what he thinks of the plays I do by forcing us to... He said it was a play. Uh, and... A performance event. What? It, you said play, but I think he Where was is going she? for the... Why are you so upset? Is she still here? Nina! Nina! Hello? Oh. Bravo! Well done. <laughs> Lovely, my dear. Well Thank done. You. Thank you so much. Indeed, lovely. I'm Doyle Trigorin. Oh, I know. I I've read your books. Well, not, not all of them, but you know, a lot. Thanks. That was great. You were ravishing, my Thanks. dear. I'm only sorry it was so brief. Oh, there was a lot more. Oh, too bad. Well, maybe some other time. I should go and see if I can find Connie. Oh, oh dear. Maybe some what other is time. it? I, I guess I've really upset him. He's so sensitive. I mean, the smallest thing. Yes, well, he is a human being. What is that supposed to mean? We're all sensitive. Much more than we let on, I think. I think that's very true. Thank you. Absolutely. It very, you know, true. I find it amazing, this uh, human capacity to, cure, to care. And uh, I, I hate to say it, but I've noticed it makes shockingly little difference what one chooses to care about. I see, I see people get so unbelievably worked up over remarkably mundane things. Uh, a shade of paint, an unkind review, whether the muffins will make it to the big meeting in time, even though no one ever really seems to eat the muffins at the meetings, as far as I can tell. But still, muffins there must be, or heads will roll! You don't get worked up? Oh, I prefer the hundred years test. What's, what's, what is that? W will anyone care in a hundred years? About the muffins, uh, or the uh, color of your kitchen cabinets, or the relative success of your latest novel, or your backyard meta theater skit, if you ask I me. Love, I love muffins. Fascinating. Fascinating test. I'm sorry? Uh, oh, oh, nothing. I, I just, I love muffins. A really <laughs> good muffin. I just really like them. Ah. Well, I should probably get going. Don't let us keep you. Really well done. <laughs> Wonderful work. Thank you. That means the world to me. We need to get you into a real play someday. You know, with a plot <laughs> and characters and words that mean things when you say them. Emma? That's all I want, to be an actress like you. Then I'm sure that's what you'll do. Goodbye, then. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, and so sorry about the dress. I had no idea you, that... You look wonderful in it, doesn't she? Certainly. So nice meeting you. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Great work. Nice job, Nina. L leaving. Well, what a delightful performance event. If only she'd been juggling, naked and covered in chocolate. She turns back. Are you coming? 
Of course. Are you all right? Certainly. Are you? Couldn't be better. Children and art. What fun. I'll be alone presently. Uh, well, <clears throat> I liked it. Yes. Me too. Very much. Here we are. Indeed. Anyway, I'm going to go see if Mosh found Conrad or if I can find him or her or whatever. Good night. Good night. Well, I thought it had something. The play or whatever it is. Uh, I mean, where are we most of the time, you know? Where are we? You ever have that feeling where you were just somewhere and suddenly you realize you're some other place and you think, how the hell did I get here? And that's bad enough when you're just, you know, driving to the store or something. But when it's sometimes years at a time or a decade, like, what the hell happened to my 40s? I mean, I know I was there. I can show you my tax returns. Where the hell was I? Was I really living my life day in, day out? Where was I? When I was maybe six or seven, I had a turtle named Mr. Hardtax. And one day there was this. Did he come back? I'm sorry? I'm sorry, Conrad, did he come back? No. I, I, I couldn't find him. Oh, he'll be along when he's ready, I'd imagine. Yeah, right. Are you all right? I'm fine. All right. You sure? I'm fine. All right. Would you like a lifesaver? What? A lifesaver. Tropical fruits. I think it might be coconut or guava, not mango. Something white. Would you like one? Would I like a lifesaver? Yes. <laughs> I love him so much. I love him so much and he's never ever gonna love me back. I hate my life, I hate him. There now, there now, come on there. It's gonna be okay, it's all right. So much feeling. Later that same night, down by the lake. Khan talks to Sorn and Dev, late. Khan is restless, pacing, frustrated, confused. He holds a copy of his play, which he is tearing into pieces. She loves me not. She loves me. 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 She loves me not. Oh, please. You know she loves you. I don't know. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> I, I can see it. I can't. Not anymore. She loves you. She has, sure has a weird fucking way of showing it. But but that doesn't mean she doesn't love you. I don't know. But she's your mother. So? You think you really think every mother loves her son? You don't think that deep down that some of them, a, a lot of them kind of, you know, hate them? Oh, Connie. All the sacrifices, all the energy, the money and time and poop and mess and stress and, and stretch marks and wrinkles. And... I don't know. I'm not exactly an expert on family matters. Oh, come on. You, you know your little sister better than anybody. You've had to deal with her since she was born. You, you know I'm right. She doesn't for one second want to think about the fact that she has a grown kid. Die and Botox cannot make me go away. The math of me. I mean, she had me at 19, not nine. So if I'm this old, then she has to be that old. And she just kind of hates me for that. Well, I can see how you might think that. And she knows I fucking hate the art she makes. Those awful, stupid movies. And those ridiculous plays she does. Mr. Winthrop's Cat or Turn on a Sixpence or whatever the fuck. Uh, the last one got great reviews. Oh, please. Y you don't like plays now. 
I thought you loved theater more you than need new any- kinds of theater, new forms. I mean, fuck, do you have any idea what's passing itself off as theater these days? Do you ever go? Um, no, no, I know, I know you think you should, but do you ever, of your own free will? I mean, do you know how much tickets cost? I mean, I mean these- this theater, this one we're doing this show in right now, this Zoom, this one is better than most. I mean, maybe, who knows anymore, but Christ, what they're doing to Shakespeare these days to make him accessible. And all the tiny, tepid, clevery, clevery, clevery little plays that are being produced by terrified theaters just trying to keep ancient Jews, gay men, retired academics, and a few random others who did theater in high school trickling in their doors. Did you know that Six People is now a big play? (laughs) I mean, seven or eight, like this one. Yes, of course, I know I'm in a play. I'm right here and you're right there through the screen. And since you can see and hear me, let's just just assume I can see and hear you too. And when you pick up your playbill like you did earlier, sir, yes, you, to see, I don't know, whether uh, I've been in a play at, at Green Valley or if Terry there has ever been at, at Big Circuit, at Big, Big Idea Theater or where to eat after the show, I saw you. We all see every damn near thing you do out there, all of you, so just, you know... I'm not blaming. We're, we're glad you're there. Just we're totally grateful, actually. But just so, you know, you know. Yeah, a play like this one with seven actors is practically unproducible. If we weren't a whatever, a, a deconstruction, a ripoff of a classic. Looking at a picture of Chekhov on the set. Thank you. And fuck you. We would probably wouldn't even be here right now, you know? You know? Um... But seriously, good Christ, we need new forms new passion, new ideas, something real, you know, something real. What the fuck's the point? Like this. What? Uh, This play we're in right now, is this the kind of new work you mean? The new forms? No, 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 fuck no. Better than this. Amazing. Brilliant. New forms of theater that can actually make you feel like living better or fuller or, or, or more. New forms that open up new possibilities, new ways of being in the world. We need bigger parts. We we need wider minds and better ideas. And we need them now. We need them now. I mean, don't you feel that? Don't you? Don't you? Don't answer that. That's rhetorical. How about... Don't you dare fucking say Cirque du Soleil or fucking Ferru Brazza or whatever the fuck to me. Big ass spectacle. Because that is not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about eye candy and diversion. No, 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 no. I was... Uh, Sorry... Sorry, what were you going to say? I was... I... No, you're right. I was going to say Sir Tizzle, like, totally. (laughs) (laughs) No, I I just, you know, I saw them once, and I thought it was kind of... What? Wonderful. I thought it was kind of wonderful. Yeah, me too. Oh. But then... But But nothing changed. Nothing in me, nothing in the world. Nothing! It's like the, the hand job of theater. Sure, nice, and there's some pleasure involved, but sure, but nothing has really actually happened. Nothing worthwhile has been exchanged or tra- has transpired. Nothing real. Nothing real, you know? Yeah, but, but why do you... What? Why does it need to change things? Why do you want to change things? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why do I want to change the world? Is that what you're actually asking me right now? Yes. I mean, yes. Have you seen the world lately? I mean, actually, actually seen it? Here he goes. Stupidity, greed, corporate dominance, selfishness, and neediness, and achieving new heights never before even imagined. Old forms, old forms of everything. Always being called new, but never actually being new and new technologies and media onslaughts and and, and breakfast cereals appealing with assassin-like accuracy to every worst impulse human beings have ever been, have have been subterraneously cultivating for the past 10,000 years. Why do I want to change the world? Because it needs changing. And once upon a time, somewhere, maybe in Eastern Europe, at least the Eastern Europe of my imagination, the theater was something that could maybe be a, some tiny, tiny, tiny part of that. And it has got to find a way to be that again, or it should just go the way to the dodo and the bell bottom and the newspaper and just go away. Wow. Yeah. Wow. He abruptly walks away. 
Emma's turn to have her say. When he was little, I used to make my hand die. He'd be screaming or whatever, and if he wouldn't stop, I'd tell him he was hurting me. I'd tell him, I'd tell him he was killing me, actually. That's what I said. I said, you don't want to kill mommy, do you? And then I, I'd make my hand die like this. And he'd get this little look on his face and he'd stop. It was very effective. I can't help but think now that that, that was not perhaps perfect parenting, but it worked and I needed things, you know, anything that worked. I was 18 when I got married. 18 fucking years old, hardly out of diapers, to my first famous leading man, Dixon. Dixon McCready, remember him? No, me neither. Jesus, the way he said his own name should have tipped me off. Dixon, Dixon McCready, rhymes with CD. Ay. Sexual harassment that just worked out, we called it. <laughs> I thought that was so funny and charming at the time. Like we beat the system. What did all those adults who thought they knew better that told us to wait, that told me I was too young, what did they know? I knew. It was true love. It was perfect. What could possibly go wrong? I asked my mother during one of our stupid, endless fights, what could possibly go wrong? Well, as it turned out, things, things, many things could go wrong and did. Wonderfully, impossibly wrong. And at 22, I had my first hit movie my first tabloid scandal, and I was a divorced mother of a two-year-old son. And the universe said, well, good luck with that. So yes, that's right. My point is, indeed, don't judge. Don't you dare judge me. You've done it all perfectly. Have you? Have you? Love, life, career, family, fidelity, Passion, well, all right then. Now, those of you who are socially responsible, deeply fulfilled, vegan, charitable millionaires who work out and have sex three times a week, you can judge. But the rest of you just shut up. I'm doing the best I can. I, I don't hate him. How could I? I, I don't hate him. But he does bother me. Music. There is a movement interlude. The stage gets rearranged. Time passes. This represents the flirting frustrations, missed connections, broken hearts, unspoken longings, etc. of the two days that pass. We see all kinds of dynamics. Nina and Trigorin flirt in some way. Khan is hurt and upset. Emma is bothered. Dev is focused on Mosh. Mosh is focused on Khan. Khan is focused on Nina. Nina is focused on Trigorin. You get the idea. Two nights later, drinking and eating pie. Pie that I fucking made. She's killing me. Well, you need to calm She's down. She's literally driving me insane. Literally. All right, figuratively. No, literally. Listen, Nina adores you. She's just- We're doing fine. I mean, fine-ish. And then come, along comes that swarthy, talentless, bald, fuck-headed pirate. And suddenly it's like I'm- I, I can't catch my breath. Like I'm drowning or something. Like I'm- like I'm- like- In, in space. No, like I'm- like, like I'm fucking drowning. I need a beer. Want one? Uh, no, I'm fine. Khan walks off. Yeah, so 
look, this this isn't good. Uh, Chigorin's a Chigorin's a great writer and all, but he's kind of an asshole. I mean, he's Emma's guest and lover, and the way he's flirting with Nina is it's just not right. It's it's almost as bad as the way she's flirting with him. Not that anyone seems to notice, except Khan, who's freaking out like someone just fucked his cat, and 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 me, I. You know, that's the advantage of everyone thinking you're kind of a boob. They don't tend to think I notice things, <laughs> but I do. You know, everything, pretty much, which is why I love Mosh so much. I mean, isn't she amazing underneath? Khan has re how, how can I win her back? H how can I get her to love me the way I need her to? Oh, biscuits. How can I get her to love me the way I love her? <laughs> you are so asking the wrong person. It must be possible. Bullshit. It must be. Why? Because Nina is my life. My whole life. I've loved her since, 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 look, I know what love is because of her. And now I'm screwed because love has attached itself to her. And while this might be the hokiest thing anyone has ever said anywhere, ever said anywhere by anyone ever, she <laughs> is love to me. <laughs> yeah, well, that is a Fuck little... You. you don't understand how unfair love can be. Or you... you I you know... don't understand. I, I don't... Okay. Listen, the woman I love, the woman I'm, you know, burning for every day is ridiculously, stupidly in love with you. And has been for years. Look, years. Now, what exactly is it that I don't understand? That's not true. Of course it is. We we all know it. We we all know it. it. We pretend we don't, but we do. Um. So wh what do you say? You think I can get her to fall in love with me instead? You think love is logical? That it makes sense? That it obeys some laws? Look, my love for Mosh hurts me. Do you understand that? I long for her. I I feel it in my thighs. Who ever heard of love so powerful your thighs ache? Your thighs? Yes, my thighs. It's ridiculous. I wish I didn't know Nina so well. Then I could lie to myself better. But I know every look, every pause, every cloud of an idea that crosses her face. You should see her looking at him and then looking to me to make sure I didn't see her looking at him that way, and then looking away from me after she knows I've seen her looking at him, then trying to look at me the same way she was looking at him so I won't feel so bad, and then failing epically at, at, at re replicating the look when I am the focus. I mean, not even close. Can't fucking believe this is actually, actually happening. And maybe it's actually, actually not. But it is. It is. I can't sleep, I can't eat, except pie, which somehow pie is exempt, but I can't even fucking function. How is that good? How is love fun? How can I, how can I get her to love me again? You, you've seen her, you've seen us. How can I get her to love me more? I'm really asking, I'm actually, actually asking. Does anyone have any ideas? They're not going to talk. They might? They know you're fictional. So what? Half the things that about most of the people they know are at least twice as fictional as I am. And the other half are only about half as interesting. But I bet that doesn't stop them from giving them advice. Seriously, how can I get her to truly see me for who I am and to love me fully and entirely for that? Anyone? Seriously, I I'm actually, actually asking for your help. Just comment down below, please. <laughs> how can I get her to love me? Someone entertain it. Someone. Be a good listener. I'm already a good listener. Come on. <laughs> Try calming down. Fuck you, Eric. <laughs> Come on. Give me some good advice, please. Someone. I'm waiting. <sighs> okay. Let's just sit here and wait until I get some good advice, please. Come on. Buy flowers? Like a, like a gift. Flower, yeah. A gift, right. Right, good, thank you. That's very helpful. Thank you. The next day, down by the lake, Khan sent Nina a note. <clears throat> Meet me, noon 30. The place, Khan. 
Nina is waiting by the lake. It is just about 12.30. She waits. There could be a song or some music here. Then almost by default, she talks to us. So there's this story of his called The Tiny Sacred. It's in his first collection from when he was even younger than Conrad is now, I think. And there's this little orphan girl in it. Her name is Annabelle, but they call her the thimble. Isn't that great? And she has like consumption or something. So she lives mostly in her tiny little room, mostly in bed. And she creates these imaginary worlds within worlds and the swirls on her bedspread and things like that. But when things are particularly bleak, she does the hope dance on her bed all alone at night, the hope dance. Don't you love that? So when I was maybe 10 or 11, after one particularly terrible day, you know, evil stepfather, drunken rage for me, blah, 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 blah. One night I just got up on my bed in the middle of the night and I did it. I did the hope dance and I instantly felt better. He gave that to me. He gave me that gift. And now he's right here and, and he seems to like me, me. While he was talking to me last night, I got weak in the knees. That's a thing that actually happened. My knees got weak and he touched my arm right here for like two seconds and I swear it burnt me. I mean, what am I supposed to do with that? Mosh appears. Oh. Hi, were you- What? Looking for Connie? Why? You weren't? No, I- You- Whatever. Were? Yes, what about? <sighs> Nothing, I just, I haven't seen him. He should be here soon though. He asked me to meet him here. Of course. Okay. She goes to leave. Mosh. How can I help you? How can you... Don't uh, stress it. I was being ironical. I know. I'm not stupid. I never said you were. I didn't say you did. I know you're not stupid. And I know you're not. Okay. We're neither of us stupid. So, how can I help you? I just... I, I, I just wanted to say I, I'm sorry. For? For, you know, all the things. <laughs> You're sorry. Yes. For all the things. I am. Good. See you later. <clears throat> yeah, well, yeah, no, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Mosh. Yes. Can I just say, fuck you and your tiny little black cloud. I didn't do anything to you. Not ever. You can star in your own little lovelorn tragedy until the end of time and wear, you know, sackcloth and ashes on your soul. But the universe the is not that? out to get you and no one here has done anything anything to you especially me mm. and i think you know that and if i were you i would get my head out you. of my ass and take a good look around and and, and you me. know make some fresh choices gosh thanks for the relationship advice you really are the personal i look to for this just because i'm me doesn't mean i'm wrong and just because you're meaner than me doesn't mean you're right. Wow. I'm just saying I, that you have no. Okay. Okay. She walks away. Khan enters abruptly, carrying a bloody bird filled sack. He's a tad tense. He lays it down at her feet, ceremonially, creepily, hopefully. What's that? A bird. A bird? I shot it. Sh shot it? You 
you you shot it. You you shot a a, a bird. Yep. Why why why? Hard to say. What kind of bird? I don't know. Is it a seagull? Why? I don't know. Yeah, it's a seagull. Really? I don't know. What kind of bird is it then? Some stupid fucking bird. How should I know? Just some stupid fucking bird. Did you really shoot a bird? Is there really a dead bird in that bag? Yes. Is it a seagull? Yes. And you shot it? Yes, it was fun. I'll be next. What? <laughs> Chances are. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Connie, what is happening to I you? I see you. I see you looking at him. I see your eyes. I see. I see you. 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 I. Oh, look, there's Tagoran. No, where? Oh. <laughs> okay. Great. Excellent. Gotta go. Take it slow. See you later. Wait, where are you, Con? Con! She watches him go. Then, Trigorin appears. Hello, Nina. Uh, hello, Mr. Trigorin. Please, Doyle. Excuse me? Doyle. It's my name. Please, call me Doyle. Oh, I, I know. I, I know that. I thought I'd just come down and say goodbye. I, I saw you down here. Oh. Well, I should go pack. We're leaving today, suddenly. A whim, it seems. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. For what? That you're going. So am I. May I, uh... Yes. yes. Ask you a question. May I ask you a question? Of course. Well, I, I've been wondering. I just really want to know... It, it, it's, it's stupid. It, it's stupid. No. Go on. What does it feel like to be famous... What does it feel like? Uh, and a genius, too. What does it feel like to be a famous genius? Oh, Nina. Why are you laughing at me? I'm not. It's just that... Uh, <laughs> it's... Um, it's not something that you feel. That, that can't be true. You matter. People write about you and think about what you say. You have the eye and ear of the world. That, that must feel like something. I know why you think that, but it's not true. I, fame isn't actually real. But to write great works of literature, the act of creating, that's real, isn't it? Can be, at moments. But this need to create is absurd, really. I mean, why? Aren't there enough things already? Do we really need more? And yet, on we go. More books, more plays, more painful poetry poured out in the small hours. And the songs, my God, the songs alone. Sometimes I think there should be a moratorium on the creative art for a hundred years. Just let's just take a good look at everything we already have and then maybe decide when what else we might need but isn't it wonderful to know you matter i think living in the hot spotlight of the world's attention would be wonderful oh dear but but why am i wrong what do you mean you can't feel it all right what does it feel like to be beautiful <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm not. Let's it, not lie. All right, we're having a serious talk. Let's not lie. Okay. You are beautiful. Period. So, what does it feel like? What does it feel like to radiate loveliness like sunlight? What does it feel like to have perfect breasts? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, 
I, 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 I was uh, trying to make a, a, a point. I, I didn't mean to say that. I, 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 I was just. Then um, you don't think they're perfect? No, no, no. <laughs> they are. Uh, it's just, uh, <clears throat> well, it's just like that. Uh, then it's, it, it, it's like that. Uh, you can't spend all day just thinking about what perfect breasts you have, can you? I mean, I, I might be able to, uh, to, but you, but you can't. They're, they're just a fact of you, literally a part of you. Well, fame is like that, but not as good. Fame isn't even real. It's, it's not something that you can hold in your hand. Unlike my breasts. I'm sorry. You heard me. Yes. Yes, I did. Don't you want to? Hold. Um. Yes. Yes. Why don't you then? Right. Well. Um, right. She approaches him quite close. Here you are. Here I am. Yes. Here we are. Lights, music, everyone enters. I just want to be loved. I just want to be loved. I just want to be loved. I just want to love. I just want to be loved. I just want to be loved madly, dangerously, fully. I want something superlative, something fresh, something... I just want a hug, really. A hug that lasts a month. I just want to hurt less. I just want to be loved more. I just want to be in life, you know, right right in the middle of it. Uh, not on the outskirts, the suburbs, the periphery of my own damn life. I just want to shine. I want to ignite the world for one hot, shining moment. Like, like a flame, or a shooting star, or a meteor. I just want to be a meteor. I'd really just rather not be hated anymore. I've been hated for one thing and another since I was a little girl and I would just like a fucking break from that. I want a bottomless bowl of ice cream. The, a bowl the size of a bushel basket. And and I want it to be brimming full of wonderful ice cream and it's all mine, but you know, I, I, I can share it if I choose. And, and I have a little you know, pouch with a variety of uh, esoterically twisted, long-handled metal spoons, and, and I can let whoever I want use one of these marvelous spoons, and, and the ice cream is like a pear of cardamom or cranberry or clove or whatever weird-ass flavor I want it to be. I just want us all to be kinder, or at least try to be. I want sweet first kisses, inconceivable softness, discovery. I just want things to be like I always imagined they could be. I just want him to look at me. I want to be 27 again. I think I'm ready to do my late 20s really well now. I want him to look at me and see me so he has some fucking clue about who I actually, 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 actually am. I want a lot, really, as much as possible of what life has to offer. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, but I do. <laughs> Not either or. Yes, and I want as much of everything wonderful I can possibly get because this is life. This is all there is. So why the I just want to be the center. Why the hell not? I mean, fuck it. If we're being honest, that's what I want. All eyes riveted on me because I am a sacred vessel for art. And I've worked my ass off and I fucking deserve it. I want adoration and respect from everyone. Always and forever. 
I just want love to be everything and, and fame to be what I've imagined it to be and to be bathed in rose petals, cool rain and endless applause. I want that. I just want it all to fucking stop. Khan abruptly runs off stage. Loud gunshot. The others start. Blackout. Music. End of act one. Act two. A kitchen. A lovely, rustic, fully functioning, realistic kitchen with a kitchen sink, food, drink, etc. Music starts in the dark. Lights up on Trigorin and Mosh. She plays her uke and sings. Trigorin sits watching her and drinking slowly and deliberately. They've been drinking for a while. It is late evening, the day after the day on which Khan shot himself in the head and mostly missed. I wander through life in a haze, each day an unmappable maze. My heart has been broken, my heart has been burst. The best that life can offer me is more of the worst. Don't judge. No two days are quite the same, but every one of them has is unwinnable game. They start in pain and end far worse than when they came. What could be harder than life? Oh, yeah. What could be harder than your sadness has swallowed the air, but I'm still breathing despite your despair. I don't understand you, I don't understand. Don't you know my heart is just a bird in your hand? You wrote that? Last night. Well, finished it. Really? Even with everything. What, what did you expect? Keening? <laughs> but you're not. I mean, well, he's not. I, I, I mean. No, never. But if he succeeded in his ridiculous. If Connor had succeeded in killing himself, I would have followed him straight into the mouth of hell. Don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't you dare smile at me, you arrogant prick. He's my person. I could save him. I could, even if he can't see that. I, and never, whatever, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'll marry Dev and then the worst of it will be over. Wait, what? You'll marry Dev? Conrad's odd friend? Sure. Really? Maybe. Um, why? He's a good person. He's kind to animals and children. And he always smells like clean sheets. Well, that makes perfect sense then. <laughs> to love with all your heart and know that it will never be ever returned? <laughs> And to be loved by someone else whose love you can't not possibly return, even if you were the last man standing. <laughs> what kind of God needs a laugh that bad? Fucker. Who, me? God. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucker, you know? Things are so... Massively fucked up down here. And he just seems to be kicking back and laughing his ass off. And I swear I, I hear him sometimes just cordling away, munching on some celestial buttered popcorn or whatever. And watching us bounce around and painless the little lives as the world slips ever closer to the cosmic crapper. Well, that's bleak. True. What's that? True. That was the word you were looking for? Accurate, insightful, true? Well. Yeah. Well, come on. It's just you and me here. You know what I mean. I've read your fucking stories. 
blankness all tied up with a pretty pink bow. That's that's your best trick, isn't it? Come on. Look me in the eye and tell you don't feel the exact same thing. Late last night, all alone, if you're ever alone. Feel which way exactly? That we're, that we're cosmically screwed. That God is dead or otherwise engaged or, and our leaders, so-called, even the best of them, are errant fucking knaves or wildly self-serving pricks, drunk with power and riches and wielding sway with an arrogance and hypocrisy beyond the power of poets to name. That the whole fucking game has been bought and sold a dozen times to the highest bidder. And that the course towards destruction has been set. Like, like that self-destruct mechanism uh, on the Enterprise and the red lights flashing and the sirens are blaring and we're all being warned. But he, no, no, no. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. We just don't know how long the timer's set for. So we all go prancing along, pretending to be oblivious and blithely clocking in and having kids and paying our bills. And meanwhile economic downturn, blah, 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 and spaghetti sport and sluggish whatever recovery. Meanwhile, blah, 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 and more, and then blah, 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 and fuckhead annexes, whatever the fuck which dictator dickwad threatens to blow up something or the rather subset of poor innocent asswipes off the face of this planet. Well, meanwhile, the war on blah, 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 and war on blah, 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 and the war on blah, 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 and the war on blah, 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 are you, blah, 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 are you, fight. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And the fucking irony is no matter how inconceivably broken the world gets, all most of us really care about deep down is if we get to snuggle up to someone late at night. So who will just maybe just maybe help us forget everything we actually know? You, you know what I mean? You, you, you know, you, you know just what I'm... Yeah? I do. Yeah, thought so. I can see it. I, <laughs> your loss is, you're, you're just as lost as me and us in life and just dis dismally, dismally, fuck it, disappointed. And this is it. Dismally disappointed. Oh, that's mm -hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Artist. Yeah. Knocking from outside. Mosh? Oh, God. Fuck. Uh, hello? Come in. He comes in. He wears an absurd coat and hat of some kind. Uh, hi. Uh, oh, hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I got you those pecans you wanted, uh, for the pie. Oh, yeah, right. Thanks. I, I, I'll, I'll take them. Great. Mm -hmm. He hands her a bag of pecans. Uh, do you need anything else? No, 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 thanks. Thanks. Okay, uh, I'm I'm heading out. Oh, oh, hey, I I saw a whole family of geese on the way home, just walking along in a straight little line right down the middle of the road, right out there in the world. You know, just just like it, it was it was so odd and sweet, kind of. It it took my breath away a little, and and nothing. I I just. Never mind. See you tomorrow. He leaves. Well, <clears throat> good luck with that then. <clears throat> Go fuck yourself. Good night. Gosh, you take everything so literally. No two days are quite the same. But every one of them is an unwillable game. 
They stood in pain and end for worse, and when they came, what could be harder than life? Oh yeah, what could be harder than? Khan enters. His head is bandaged. He sees Mosh. Hey. Hi. They stand there a moment, and then he goes and starts to make himself a smoothie. She watches him a while, then leaves. The hum of the refrigerator. Emma enters the kitchen and sees her son. It's about 11 p.m. or so. Oh! Hi. You're eating? Yeah, well. Oh, Connie. Connie, what am I going to do? Mother, please, Mother, don't. What? Why, Connie, why? Well, don't, please, please, anything but that. that. All right. Please? I said all right. Are you going to do it again? Of course not. Good. Is there anything I no. can... No. Can we just not... Fine. The only thing worse than trying to kill yourself and failing is having to talk to your mom after trying to kill yourself and failing. Particularly when she knows deep down somewhere it's at least partially her fault. But her mouth and brain have never actually formed the phrase, uh, phrase I'm sorry in her entire life. So here you are with nothing but a berry smoothie between you and, and, and... Nina's here. Still? Well, she's worried about you. Yeah, sure. She is. She said she might sleep on the couch. Oh, God, really? She brought me soup. Like she was my grandmother. A fucking consolation. Prize. Consolation for what? Never mind. Mother, would you change my bandage? N never mind. Uh, no, 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 no. It's it's, it's no big deal. If you don't want Connie, to get your hands all, all bloody, change it. Yeah. I. You sure? I'm fine. Oh, Conrad, you're gonna be the death of me. I, I mean, uh. Thank God you missed. I, I would have felt terrible if... Do you really love him? Of course. And you trust him? I do. Why? Can't you see what, what he's like? I trust him to be who he is. You don't understand. I love him totally. And I wouldn't want him any other way. What do you mean, what he's like? He's a condescending, self-centered... Oh, that's enough. He thinks he's some kind of genius, but he's just a third-rate... You rate don't fucking... understand him. He is a genius, a truly great artist. You can't begin to understand... No, of course is. not. How could I understand a great genius? Oh, please. Oh, how can a failure like me possibly understand Trigorin's oh, greatness? Bro. Connie, grow up! And he's probably out there day. right now, smarming all over Nina, convincing her how brilliant he oh, is. Oh, don't be ridiculous! Then don't be blind. He can't take his fucking eyes off her. Oh, don't you how dare! Can, how stupid can you be? And how the fuck can you fall for the exact same shitty, arrogant assholes over and over and over and you're over? You're delusional. And, and you're a fucking idiot. And you're fucking impossible. And you're the worst mother in the world. Oh, that's better. Very mature. I can't stand you and your men and your acting and your fucking- And I can't stand to see how pathetic you've become. You bitch. Failure. Or How dare you? You have no idea what I she gave up for you. love me but anymore. Don't you understand life. that she doesn't love me anymore? She is everything to me, and all she can see is him, and his fucking genius, and his fucking fame, and his fucking bald head, and his fucking clever talk. And oh, Connie, bitch, Connie, Connie, I am so, so, so sorry so unhappy. for you. I'm so, so unhappy all the time. Oh, oh, my poor boy. She sees what you see now, a loser, fucking loser. Oh, no, you're not a loser, you aren't. And of course she still loves you. Not anymore. You can be wonderful. You are my son. And you will do great things. You, you just need to... What? We'll leave tomorrow. 
I'll take him away and she'll love you again. She's, she's probably just uh, dazzled. He has a way of, uh, uh, I don't know, um, getting in there. I have to go. We'll go. We, we'll go. We'll leave. And then she'll love you again. I can't. I'm, I'm, go I'm going for a walk. Honey, wait. Bolt. Don't walk away. Stay here and... Oh, my poor boy. Oh, my poor darling. A moment or two passes. Soren enters the kitchen. Khan has just passed him in the hall. He and Emma look at each other a long moment. How is he? How the fuck should I know? Sad. Sad and lost. You remember that play he, he was in in the third grade? Where he was in that uh, 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 little boat <laughs> wearing that ridiculous hat? Yes, actually. You saw that? I did. I remember he looked uh, so little up there, so lost at sea. I, I just keep remembering that today. His head is fine though, right? That's a scratch. A few stitches. He might have thought he wanted to do it, but something in him knew better. Yes. I'm worried that- Well, he... I'm exhausted. What? I'm sorry, what? Uh, nothing. Okay. Have you seen Doyle? No. Uh, he was riding on the porch earlier. Ah. And Nina's still here? Bedding down on the old red couch with Franny. Oh, Franny. <laughs> that cat is such a little tramp. Any warm body in a storm. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. And you're okay, right? Oh, of course. You know me. All right. Uh, good night, then. Good night. She goes. He takes various implements out of various cupboards and drawers and makes a delicious and unique cocktail during all this to take to his room. I'm a doctor. My job is to help people feel better. Ironic. <laughs> when I feel so entirely shitty... Most of the time. Not that they know that. Not my sister. Not my poor screwed up nephew. Not my patients. Or my friends. Or my ex-wives. Or you know. Anyone really. There is so much love in this house. Or what passes for love. <laughs> If only, or uh, why won't he, or uh, what can I do, and the like. It matters so much to them. And I get that. It mattered to me once, too. Once. I have my dreams. Some came true. <laughs> but uh, they don't know that. They never ask. I have some memories, though. Some doozies. Remember, if you take nothing else away from this play or whatever it is, remember this. When you see an old guy, you never know <laughs> where they might have been, what they might have done, or with whom, or with whom's. <laughs> you never know. Poor Connie. He's in it right now, right in the thick of it. Can't see the edge of the forest in any direction. I remember the feeling. Awful. And wonderful. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I get up most mornings around dawn or so. Still dark and often still cold. And I'm alone. And I have a shower, and I get dressed, and the last thing I do before I leave the house is brush my teeth. And three mornings out of five, I wonder, while I'm brushing my teeth, for some reason, always right then, in the midst of this most mundane of morning ablutions, I wonder, why go on? 
Why? Why walk out the door into the day and, and do all the things I do? And do you know why I do it? Do you? Do you? He leaves. Lights shift. Perhaps if the radio is on, it shifts to another tune, another tone. It is now clearly later, the middle of the night, maybe 3 a.m. Chagorin enters, maybe singing softly to himself, and starts meticulously making a peanut butter and jam sandwich, or eating an apple, or... He periodically looks at the door to the kitchen, expectantly. Nina, scantily clad on the couch, is acutely with him throughout this. Maybe there is some time here. Maybe he pops right in and starts speaking to us right away. So, you know, people ask me all the time, what's my secret? How do I understand them so well? How can I know their inmost secrets when I've never even met them and the like? And I think the simple truth is, I love them, all of them. And by them, I mean, of course, you, all of you. You're all so fucked up in such an endlessly fascinating ways and that I can't help but love you. And if you love someone, you want to know them, get them, get inside them, so to speak. Well, what gets just a little bit tricky is... Nina entering gently. Hello. Hi. Pajamas. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> Neither could I. Oh, why couldn't you sleep? I don't sleep much, really. Four or five hours a night. If I'm lucky, I'm quintessentially restless. Why couldn't you sleep? Oh. Uh... Insomnia? No. Bad dreams? No. A pee? Uh, no, I didn't have to. I... No, 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 no. A, a pee. Oh, got it. No, I'm, I'm no princess. An unsettling nocturnal desire then to, um, to end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks the flesh is there. Quite so much. It was more the next line, I think. The next? Yes. Mm. A consummation devoutly to be wished. That's the one. Oh. That's why I couldn't sleep. Because, because of a consummation devoutly to be wished. Devout to be wished. Oh my. Have you ever wondered if he was asking the right question? Who? Hamlet. Hamlet. What question? To be or not what to be. What question? I don't really what think question? that's the question at all. Oh no, then what's the question? To act or not to act? To do or leave undone? And speaking of undone... She begins to advance towards him, slowly, gently undressing herself. Who are you? Shrugging off her pajama top or t-shirt slowly and easily, she stands there smiling at him, topless. I'm the one with the perfect breasts, remember? Oh, yes. 
If you want them, they're yours. If you want me, I'm yours. If you want my life now or ever, it's yours and yours and always only yours. Oh, Nina. He moves towards her. Emma suddenly appears from somewhere. Well, hello there, darling. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no, not God, child, but still full of wrath and terrible to behold. Emma. Shut up, my love. Nina? Yes. Leave. What? Leave. Now. Oh. And not just the room, you traitor. The house. The hemisphere, if possible. All right. And Nina? Don't ever come near me or any of my men ever again. Or I will quite simply kill you until you are utterly and entirely dead, okay? Okay? Good night. Turning sharply to Trigorin before she goes. Remember what I said. Go! Nina is gone. Emma and Trigorin stand there for several moments, perhaps, transfixed. They stare at each other, neither one quite willing or able to speak first, to begin. Who will speak first? What will they say? After some time... Let me go. What? Let me go. No. Let me go. Never. Let me go. Am I so old, so ugly, that you can stand there and speak to me like that? Let me go. I won't. I won't let you. Throw yourself away. I won't let you destroy our happiness and mine and my son's and hers too, the little bitch. And all for nothing. She's a girl. A stupid, stupid, stupid girl. And she has nothing for you. Let me go. Over my dead body. Let me go. No! You're an amazing man. A great artist. Your best work is still ahead of you. And I can't bear to see you throw it all away. We both know what will happen. Think! Use your fucking head for one moment instead of your aging dick. She slaps him hard. Think! Imagine! Okay. You will run after her, burning, blazing with need, like, like a jackal, like a forest fire, like a man. The chase, the adventure, the triumph, the conquering hero. Good for you. Look, you can do it. Look what you can do. You can astonish a girl with a daddy complex. Well done, you. And now you have her. And it's... Wonderful, luscious, delicious, uncomplicated for hours and hours and hours, maybe days. And then, and then what? Play it out to the end, my love. It's a dead end. Unreal, empty, not something you can live in. Not really. It, it's an illusion of something, an imitation of something you wanted when you were 15 and could never have then because you were odd and pimply and unpopular, so you desperately want it now. But wake up! Think! Escape is not for you or for me. We are artists, for fuck's sake, and we need to be right in the middle of life, of living, of, of raw reality. 
let ordinary everyday men be run by their fears and their pricks and their desperate attempts to stave off mortality, but not a great artist like you, not you, not an actual man. I see you, I know you, all of you. No one will ever know you like I do. And you know it, you know it in your bones. Look at me. I am here. I am real. Do you hear me? I love you for who you are, for everything you truly are in the world. And I am real, a real mirror, a complicated mirror, not the funhouse mirror of youth and wishing. And I will love you forever and ever without end. Now come back to my bed and never leave it again. They kiss passionately deeply. Conrad and Dev, Nina and Mosh enter. Eventually, Soren also enters, and he watches what transpires. Chagorn and Emma, oblivious, continue kissing. It's impossible. It's impossible! It's unfair! Love is Love impossible! Is impossible. The, thing the, thing is, is, the thing 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 is, it's not my fault. No, it's, not. It's, not. It's, not. it's not. It's not my, my choice. choice. I love her in this one very way. particular way. The heart just, just does, does things. things. It just it does, does things. things. It, it just, just does. does. I disappoint her. I worship her. her. All these things. things. It's, it's simple. that simple. I have, I have these dreams, these relentless, these relentless raging, raging dreams, dreams these stupid, stupid fucking dreams, dreams of perfect, perfect love. love. Look, I get it. I get it. I, I do. do. I really do. I really do. She doesn't, she doesn't hate like me. me. Hate me. No, 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 no not no, perfect. Not, perfect. Not, 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 not. But I sure but do, I sure do bother her. her. It's, it's just, just. I see it I in see her, it her eyes. eyes. It's just. I read it on her lips. That is just. I feel it in my balls. I, I just want something that is going to shut up on me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so, 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 so sorry. Love is Love awful. Is awful. Love, Love is, is absurd. absurd. Love, Love is, is so, so fucking, fucking unfair. unfair. The thing is. What sucks is. What's tricky is. What's hard is. I don't Who know. Even if this is I, real, I, even if even if all that ever, 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 it's, it's not, not my fucking fault. fault. And, yet, and yet, and yet, and yet, and yet. So much feeling. End of act two. Act three. Lights. The stage is much as it was for the first act, per uh, half, perhaps, but also different. Decorations are up for a party. Mosh and Dev are on stage. Khan is too, but very far back in the background. Lounging, smoking. Drinking for sure, he is not in good shape and should never be fully on top of his game, nor any time in this entire act. He is not doing well. For real. On the edge. Mosh has her ukulele. Dev plays bass or another euchre. They're dressed for a party. <laughs> we wrote this song together. If we're going to sing it, let's just sing it, okay? Okay. It. It's about... Life. <laughs> Make it, uh, you know, I, it, it, it's about life, you know? Come on. They'll get it or they won't. Play. Okay. Uh, don't judge. Shut up. When you're just cooking, when you're not looking for change, it's strange. How hearts and minds can rearrange yeah. such an odd exchange when life happens. 
When you're not trying, when you're just crying on the stair, it's not fair the way the act of simply breathing air can be hard to bear. Bad, but then life happens. And on and on and on we go. And on and on and on days flow. Lonely, lovely, rich and rough. All too much and never enough. On and on. And while your child's sleeping, and while the willow's weeping in the yard, it's hard to make it through a single day unmarred or unscarred. But life just happens. Now that you've started, though you've been thwarted, try again to begin. Every single day as though you're gonna win. You hope again. But then life happens. And on and on and on we go. And on and on and on days flow. Lonely, lovely, rich and rough. All too much and never enough, on and on. All too much and never enough, on and on. All too much and never enough, on and on. I'm going to go ahead and check that cake. Bosch gets up, kisses Deb quite sweetly, and heads off. Great. Uh, oh, it's four years later. Um, <clears throat> everything that happened in the, you know, the first two acts happened four years ago. You've been thwarted, huh? How's that? Thwarted. I like that word. Thwarted. Th uh, l let me catch you up. Drats. Thwarted again. <laughs> Trigoran left here with Emma, you know, back back then, but then Nina just disappeared a few days later, and, and the next thing we knew, they were together in an item or whatever. Thwart. Thwart. Mm. Conrad you know, took it all pretty hard, as you can imagine. I will thwart you. Mm. Nina's kind of a famous actress now. Some stage movies or a, a movie, mostly TV, uh, crime shows, I, I'm told, testifying about bad things bad men have done with to her, breaking down in tears a lot. She's, you you know, not so good, you know, not terrible, just... Why are you thwarting me? And here in public. <laughs> uh, Tr Trigorin... Opened doors for her, I, I guess. Thwart. He wrote a movie, I, I think, or maybe it was another movie he wrote she was almost in or something. Look, I have a hard time caring, I guess. But then, you know, after about a year, they had a baby and then lost it after just a few weeks. So, so awful. I, I mean, you know, I honestly can't imagine anything worse. If we, lo if we lost one of our kids, I can't. Oh, <laughs> Right, uh, our kids. Uh, yeah, well, uh, Mosh and I are, are married now. It, yeah, I, I know. I, I was surprised as you are, it, if you're totally shocked, that is. Uh, she, she finally gave in, I guess. Not, not quite the romantic ideal of one's foolish youth, but still, I'm, I'm gen genuinely grateful. Usually, you know, life is still... Life, right? I, even when you amazingly get the girl, there are still things, don't you find? Anyway. Thwart, 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 thwart. thwart. Oh, we, we, we have three kids already. 
Kralai is 22 months today, and, and the twins, Malachi and Merlin, are, are just 11 weeks. They, <laughs> they look ex almost exactly like me. I, I don't think she can quite believe it, but you know, life, 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 right? After a while, the word makes no sense. <laughs> Conrad still lives here at home. Thwart, thwart, th thwart. Writing and, and drinking and in tandem, as it were, the the tortured artist, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> which brings us here, perhaps, to today, which is shaping up to be a doozy. Uh, Dr. Soren turns 60 today. He's, he's still getting a little rocky, if you ask me, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's just worried about con, or, or maybe it's, you know, parties, or, or this particular party, because... Emma and Trigorin are coming. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, they're they're back together for maybe a year now. And and you know, just as <laughs> icing for the proverbial cake, Nina's back in town too this week. And not for the party, staying just staying with their fucked up folks and resting. You know, uh resting. It sounds like it sounds like really bad art. How was the show? It thwarted. It fucking thwarted. <laughs> are you being thwarted? What? Are you feeling thwarted? Bye. How should I know? Love, life, your mom, art? Don't you? What? Feel thwarted. By? All of it. <laughs> the, the total tonnage of it all. The weight of all the bullshit stifling all the possibility of moving forward. Power, politics, sewage, academia, art. It's all the same and it's all fucked. Yeah. Yeah. I feel thwarted. Good and thwarted. <laughs> By then, old people, old, rich, successful, selfish, wealthy white people. Who do you think? Even the lovely, well-meaning ones. They got here first, found a feast, ate it, and left us scraps. Or not even scraps, mostly. They just fucking ate the feast. They ate it, and now they're leaving us the bill. Wow. You really hate him, don't you? Who? Trigorin. I'm not talking about him. Yes, you are. You always are. When you're mad about anything, it's really just him. When you hate rich, white, successful people, you can tell yourself anything you want, but you're just talking about him. Bullshit. Okay, but... What? Nothing. No, what? <sighs> well, I mean... Look, I'm sorry, but he just stole your girlfriend. You know, I mean, that totally sucks, but that was years ago, and... <laughs> it's not just him, it's all of them. They've stolen our future, can't you see that? Not really, no. Oh, wait, wait, newsflash. This just in. Human beings take as much as they can get. <laughs> Con, this is fascinating. It, it seems we're motivated by greed and a desire for comfort, and therefore sometimes take more than we need. <laughs> this... This is amazing. You honestly don't think they've mortgaged our future. How the hell should I know? I Look, I get up each morning, put on my pants, and try to get through my day. That about what I got in me these days. I don't even get that half the time. Have a small gaggle of kids. I mean, that'll get you going in the morning. <laughs> yeah, there is an idea. I'd be a great dad, don't you think? Yeah, n no. You'd suck. But they're, they're amazing teachers. Teachers, seriously? Seriously. You call them poop o <laughs> uh, Mosh calls them the insatiables. <laughs> you, you've both given your children terrible band names, but, but somehow... Uh, go, come, 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 come babysit Cora sometime. Watch her sleep. Listen to her snotty breathing through those impossibly tiny nostrils. Or, you know, or, or let her wrap her whole hand around your finger. You know, maybe she'll figure it out all out, you know? Or one of the twins, save the world, invent a, a helpful thing. Yeah, well, that all sounds great and all, but... Well, you know. Try loving something more than yourself. Look, I I'm just saying, it, it does something to you, something worthwhile. For fuck's sake, Deb, are you kidding me? I love almost everything better than myself. Why won't Nina even see me? Oh, Connie. What the fuck are they doing here? Is she trying to torture me? Well, she's here because... I know why she's here, but from whence does she get the fucking nerve? Well, yeah, that, 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 that does just make me want to kick him in the balls. Good. I'm glad. Don't hold back on my account.
The party pours on stage. They've been drinking. Sorn is in a high, rare mood, pushing buttons, instigating. Khan steps to the edge and does his best to stay there. Dragoran is aware of the dicey complexity of the situation and is trying to be careful. Emma is doing her best to make it all seem fine and normal. But she couldn't, I mean, I swear to God, she couldn't walk like a human being. <laughs> we were all aghast. I mean, there we are, right? I'm going to try. Like to I don't think it's with this blonde southern cupid doll. And and I mean, with, with tits like those, I'm not saying she needs to be Frances McDormand or even... Uh, even uh, Philippa Sue? No, but still, the arms, the arms swing opposite from the legs when human beings walk, right? I have found. <laughs> <laughs> and I swear, as God is my witness, she could not do it. <laughs> she was all... <laughs> I had to beg the director to put her out of her misery. <laughs> you had her fired? What? Oh, yes. Yes, I had to, sweetie. She was ruining the movie. Wow. Oh. Movies are tricky. Movies are tricky. Are they? I think so. Well, what do you think, Conrad? Are you finding that plays are tricky? I don't know. Right. Of course. They it's it's not a big deal. Doing your um it's not. But, but it's happening. Yeah. When? Now. Well, that's wonderful. Why aren't you there? I was for a while. I like 3 days. He doesn't want to get caught up in the bullshit. Sorry. The bullshit of the theater. Ah. Now, which bullshit is that? I'm sorry? I'm just curious. In your experience, what is it that you're calling bullshit? Emma? Yes. No, no, it's fine. Uh, the ego, mostly. Oh. A parade of ego. That's what I'm calling bullshit. But darling, you can't... One of the actresses' nicknames was, What About Me? That was her nickname. She answered to that. Where's what about me? Oh, sorry, I was reading my own press. Made me kind of sick. Yes, well, we can't all. Well, well, I think it's great that it's happening, and I am looking forward to seeing it. Absolutely. Is it a nice theater? I can't. Uh, it's over uh, Streamyard, actually. Well, you have to start somewhere, right? Absolutely. Oh, it's a wonderful script, I think. Funny and sad and very true. It's it's almost a new form of theater, really. My agent. What's it called again? I, I, I saw your mother had the script, but I can't quite recall. Stupid what... fucking bird. Ah, right. Good title. Thanks. <laughs> That'll sell some tickets. Uh, don't you think it's a wonderful script, Emma? Well, uh, you know, it's ridiculous, but I just haven't had the chance to read it yet. It's been so crazy. I... Too bad. It's great. Mm -hmm. And there's a perfect role for you in it. Is there? Yeah. Well, now I'm terrified. Don't be. You're unrecognizable. Oh? She's a blonde. Oh. Well, then. <laughs> Uh, but you feel good about the script. Sure. Is there a role You feel good about me? the script? Is there a role for me? Maybe I could start a last minute career. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> you can play the bird. Oh, excellent. I have always wanted to do something artistic. Really? Did you? <laughs> I always why don't you do just about anything other than being a fucking doctor? All those sick people. Ugh. You never said that before. I've never been turning 60 before. I've never been dying before. Now you Uncle, what's that? Don't talk like that. I've never told the truth about damn near anything before. If you want to know the truth, so 
Just, okay, okay. No, have you, have no, you just, just had a big Let me run? talk. Certainly, never, certainly. Let okay. me talk. This is my party, right? Absolutely. And I want to ask everyone a serious question. All right. Do you all feel all the things you say you feel? That's my question. Why do you ask? It's just that I, well, I, 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 I don't always feel authentic. Authentic? I feel make believe. Authentic? I feel I feel make believe. I think we all do. Back in a minute. Mosh slips out to go get the cake. Most days I feel like, well, like, like I'm performing, like I am playing a role in my own life, the role of me. Perhaps you'd like to switch, want to try the role of me? Uh, I've always wanted to know what it's like to play a real doctor. Oh, can I? Can I switch with you? Sorry. Um, just just for a day, maybe, or, or even an hour, because I got to um, tell you, I, I can't help but be curious about what it'd be like, to, what it feel like to be inside that fascinating head of yours because it passes my total fucking understanding all how right, you can manage to... i'm warning you you're warning me <laughs> it's like he's still 14 fucking years old i just i just want to spank it's him. okay uh, you know well I, I think we're all kind of performing every day aren't we in our own ways are we that's what I'm asking. What do you mean exactly? I know what's expected of me. I have a sense of how I'm supposed to act and about my age and my, and my job and so on. So I, I, I say the right things. At least I have the right expression on my face, mostly. But I, I, I just don't feel all the things I, I, I pretend to feel. I say words and I, I make faces and I, I, I even talk about feelings sometimes. But I don't have them. I, I, I fool people, all the people. <laughs> I think, I think you all think I feel things, but I don't feel those things. And I, I never have, I never have. I, I just act like I do. Then maybe you should have won all those awards, not me, because you sure fooled the fuck out of me. But my question is this. My, my question is, is this just me? Is, is this just me, or, or is this what everybody does? Mosh enters with a birthday cake with lit candles. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. 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 The party disperses. Khan is pacing, maybe. Still drinking, too. You know what fucking sucks about a little success? It just feels like a setup for a new kind of failure. A more powerful, a more painful kind. Because now, instead of just my family, I'll get to have, you know, perfect strangers judging me and pitying me, too. My fucking play. Not an original thought in it. It's practically a fucking love story, for fuck's sake. Full of people just angsting and whining and going on and on about, endlessly, about whatever the fuck I was thinking at the time. I mean, new forms? Why? Why? Why new forms? How about this for an idea? Just do the old forms better. Who am I to change them? I mean, aren't there reasons that protagonists and antagonists and rising action and climaxes and denouements have been around for thousands of years? Trigoran's stories are sharp, 
clean, smart, efficient. Yes, I've read them. I've read everything the motherfucker's ever written, pretty much, before he met my mother and after. I was lying when I told Nina I hadn't. Of course I have. What do you think? My mother is fucking shacked up with a great writer, maybe one of the greatest writers of our time, and I'm just not going to read his books and stories? Are you crazy? <laughs> Nina's been here a fucking week. A week. I went to see her, and she wouldn't see me. I haven't seen her in a long time. I tried before. Followed her. What a fucking idiot. But I, I couldn't not. I couldn't not. Have you ever not been able to not? It sucks. And it's dangerous. A knock. Who's there? Hello? Nina? Hello? Nina. Oh, God, in heaven, one, one second. He lets her in. Nina looks like a different person. Older, broken, and with only a thin hold on reality. Hi, Connie. Hi. 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 Look at you. It's, it's you. It's your face. Oh, my God. I, I am so glad you're here. Are you okay? Sure, of course. Flying high. Do, do you need something to drink or, or... No. You sure? I'm fine. Okay. Or, uh, do you have any of those cookies with the jelly in the middle? Uh, your grandpa used to give us if we polished things or whatever. No, no, sorry, Jesus. I, I haven't thought of those in... It's okay. No, no cookies then. No, I, I, I came to see you, but I guess you know that, right? I'm sorry, I couldn't quite... You know. Yeah, I get it. I you get don't... It. Uh, what? You don't... Hate me? Wow, okay. Y you don't get it, do you? Get what? I love you. Period. I love you and I always will. Always and forever, no matter what. It's not a choice, even. It's just... You're a part of me, structurally. I could never see you again, ever, ever. And I'd still love you on the God, day that I what die. Are you, what are you don't saying? Get, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this is a good thing. I, it might just kill me within the hour, but I'm just telling you the fucking truth. I'm just, I'm just. How do you not hate me? I left you. I ran away to your mother's lover. I, I broke everything that was ever good in the world. For my stop it, own stop it. Selfish. For fuck's sake, stop it. I know what you did. I don't need a litany of your sins. You're a human. You're a human being, a flawed human being like the rest of us. And I, I know. I am. Oh, you're flawed. Believe me. I, I mean, I love you and always will, but. No, I'm flawed. I, I am. Of course I am. But I don't think I'm what you said. What did I? The other thing you said. What, a, a human being? Yes. I, I don't think I'm mad. Then what are you? A seagull. A seagull. I think I'm a kind of seagull, don't you? Nina? I'm not an actress. I'm not. I thought I was, but... Did you ever see me? Of course. Have you ever seen anything so awful in your life? I thought you were- Don't lie to me! Don't you dare lie to me, Conrad. I was there. I was right up there on that stage, and I know I am the worst actress ever. I can't say words. I don't know how to stand or to, to, to use my hands. I don't I mean anything. I can't tell the truth for one second on stage or in front of a camera. I just can't act. You know, the last time I was any good? When? In your play. I was good in that. I had enthusiasm. I had integrity. I was myself. Am I a seagull? No. 
Then why did you shoot a seagull? Wasn't that me? No. I mean, yes, kind of, but... So I am a seagull. No, it, it's a... What? A, a metaphor, a symbol. I thought... God, it sounds so fucking stupid. You thought I was like a seagull? Yes. So you shot me. Why did you shoot me if you love me? I have thought about that a thousand times, lying in bed, some bed somewhere, and I would suddenly think, why? Why did he shoot me? I didn't, I, I mean, I love you, Nina, and I, I was just... Yes? I have no fucking idea. I, it was art or something. I was trying to let you know how much I loved you and how much you meant to me. Then you shouldn't have shot me! You shouldn't have shot me! You shouldn't shoot the things you love! That should be on a t-shirt. You shouldn't shoot the things you love. N Nina, just look at me. <laughs> I'd rather not. Is he here? Who? Yeah, bastard. He's not a bastard. No? No. He's the devil. Beautiful, bored, brilliant devil. How could he have... Her name... Her name was Hannah. And she was only so little. Her little hands were only this big. And her fingernails were so tiny, you didn't even know that they were fingernails yet. And yet, she was perfect. A perfect little bird. And, and then one day, and then one day, not. She just stopped. And then he just left. It was all so, so awful. Nina, I'm so, I'm so... I'm Seagull, right? You, you need a rest. You need someone who loves you to take care of you. Let me take care of you. I can do that. I can fucking do that. I have to leave in an hour. A new play. A lovely, lovely little play. Maybe this will be the one. <laughs> Maybe this time I'll be wonderful, radiant, ideal. Listen, just... More likely I'll be awful, wretched, unwatchable. Please, just let me... You know why? Nina? You know why? Why? I am a seagull, and seagulls can't act. That should be on a t-shirt too. Seagulls can't act, and you know why? Look, Nina. You know why? Why? Because they have no lips. They have no little lips to kiss you with. And they have tiny, tiny little bird-like hearts. Only teeny, tiny hearts that can't hold all the love you deserve. Seagulls can't act because they fly above all the things that matter on this earth, all the things that are real, all those who love them and would take care of them and all of their tiny little babies and they are selfish and selfish and selfish and selfish. Nina, and Nina, I am so sorry for everything. I have to go. I have no, to go. No, 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 you don't. Stay with me. Let me love you. Let me take care of you. I could do that. I could be really good at that. That's why I was put here I can't. on this earth. I just can't. It is all too absurd. P wait, please. Goodbye, Connie. Thank you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for shooting me. I think you love me better and more than anyone ever has or ever will. And I don't understand you. And I never will. But thank you for everything. Goodbye. She leaves abruptly. So, here we are. 
Fuck. Fuck. This is my life. My life. I tried and I failed. So I tried again and I didn't fail better. I failed more. The story of my life has been written and the Cliff Notes version is you fucking suck. Which I guess I've always known. <laughs> Thanks, mom. So what now? What's the point of going on? What's the motherfucking point? My life is a fucking disaster. Love is a shipwreck and my art has been as about as much chance of changing the world as fucking, fucking, fucking Congress. What the fuck are you laughing at? Is this funny to you? Enjoying my pain? Do you have any idea what happens next? Do you? Well, for those of you not so well-versed in the 19th century Russian drama, this is where I die. Yep, that's right, campers. I die. Anguish, tears, burn my manuscripts, despair, 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 gunshot. And you cry. You cry or wake up, or whatever. And then stand up, give a quick little thumbs up, or thumbs down, or a non-committal shrug to whoever you're here with, and then whip out your phone to check your missed calls and texts before you've even sidled to the end of your fucking row. And this is where the play ends. I'm fucking dead. Nina's shithouse crazy. Everyone else prances on their merry little way. And no one's life has changed, right? Right? Another play. Over and done. And once again, nothing real has happened. Well, this is just a stupid fucking play, and maybe I don't want to shoot myself in the head. Maybe I just want to go on like this forever, wallowing in a deep, self-pitying existential angst from production to production to production to production until the end of time. Maybe I want to go on losing and failing and losing and... Oh, but wait, then where's the catharsis? This is a play or whatever, right? So we gotta have some kind of catharsis. And you all want your fucking money back, so where's the catharsis? Has anyone seen the catharsis? We didn't forget to bring it, did we? Can a fella get a little fucking catharsis around here? Or not? Um, hey. <laughs> yeah? You, you okay? Yeah. You sure? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> she's. She's, um. Uh, breathe. She's never gonna love me, is she? No. Not ever, right? <sighs> right. Uh, like not ever. I'm, I'm so so sorry. God, God, I'm so fucked. Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, shall we shall we wrap it up here? Uh, put a little cap on it. The other actors enter. Uh, so thank you all for coming here tonight. I here is what happens to each of the characters after the play ends. In in case you're curious, um, I'll go first. <laughs> for me. Life just goes, you know, on. We have some really nice moments, actually. Surprisingly lovely, even. Two of my kids do great, and the other less so. I I, <laughs> I live till I'm 81. Now, my last years with, with my grandkids are the best years. We do fine. Good, I guess. Uh, life... Life, life, right? <laughs> I die at 61 when a drunk driver hits me out of the fucking blue when I'm walking home from the farmer's market. Which somehow seems just about right. I die in nine months, uneventfully, confused, content. I do fine. I never get much happier. Although I often have a wonderful time. Many people continue to just um, hate me, though more quietly. I become an aging actress with all that that brings, and I die exhausted on my 90th birthday. For Chagorin, more of the same. Little dramas, lots of writing, fascinating, mundane, superlative, a good life. He dies quite happy. Sorry. I go on. I just, 
I just go on. I shoot myself. Pulling out a gun, he puts the gun to his head, leaves it there a beat, poised to pull the trigger. Then he suddenly aims it at a light on stage, fires, the light explodes. The cast is freaked and screams. <laughs> oh, I fucking shoot myself. Or not. Or. Stop the fucking play. Blackout. End of play. All right. Let's come back on, everyone. Hey, hey. Uh, thank you so much to our audience. You guys did great with your interactions. Uh, Diana, you got a little, uh, a few fan mails in the comments there. <laughs> I had to mute myself afterwards. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Good job. Um, so uh, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Um, what, uh, sadly, um, our uh, Trigorin had to drop off, but that was uh, Stephen, what was his last Minnow. name? Stephen Minnow. Minnow, thank you. Yeah. Uh, brain fart. Yes, Stephen Minnow, <laughs> who did amazing, despite his uh, connectivity issues. Um, I'll go next. My name is Ryan Gerberding. I played Khan. Uh, I don't know if our screens are all the same. Diana, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Diana Ramirez. I played Nina. And you, uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I go by Terry, or I go by Yue, and I played Dev. Hi, everyone. I'm Mosh. I, well, I played the role of Mosh. I'm a <laughs> wrong I can't tell that either. We're all going to play. <laughs> My name's Connor. I read the stage directions tonight. Hi, I'm Sherry Heller, and I played Emma. I'm Mark Silver. I played Sorn. Great. Um, so... We won't have a super long talk back or anything, but if you guys have any uh, pressing questions or anything, any uh, more love for our actors, go ahead and put it in the comments there. Um, yeah, oh. thank you, Kim. Oh, that's you, how you ben. see the comments. I haven't even Yeah, there. there you go. <laughs> I was like, thank you, I, was like I just see us talking to each other. I was like, I don't yeah. know what's happening. Yeah, you figured it out. Uh, you know, uh, Amber, Amber, Sweet, Amber thank Sweets, you. thank you for sharing your evening with us. Sorry, Ryan, I over-talked. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> uh, you know, guys, here's the thing. You know, you say thank you for uh, to us for sharing our evening with you, but really, it's thanks to you for coming out here and watching us. I mean, mm -hmm. we enjoy doing this for you all. It's something that we love doing. We miss the stage. Mm -hmm. um, and what better way to do it than to just do a beautiful reading with everyone? Yeah, I agree. I think everyone did such an amazing job. I think... Really, even if we can't see the audience, we yeah. really uh, feel your presence. So thank you all so much for being here. Everyone should vote if we should do it on stage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I hope oh if we God. do get a chance to do it on Kim? stage. Uh, we, you, Diana, you I'm going to tell you right now, I'm I most capable as a stage so manager <laughs> on this, not on stage. You don't want that. Has anybody, has anybody done this show in Sacramento? Uh, they did it at, um, what was it, Cap Stage, Cap Stage a couple years yeah. ago, yeah. Um, which was the second time I had seen it. Well, I had done a, a reading of it in college once, and then I saw it at, at Cap Stage, and that just cemented my love for it. This is absolutely one of my favorite plays ever, if not my Yeah, I think it would be book. really compelling to see, uh, to be in a theater. I agree. You know? yeah. I think, um, I, think I uh, once this broadcast ends, I will save this video and... Um, show it to some people and be like, this is the cast we have. Give us two weeks, we got it. Please, please, that would be so fun. <laughs> oh, man. Um, all right, so unless there are any final comments, I think Thanks we can wrap it up. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah, thank, you. So thank you so much. This was fun. This is a this totally was. different platform for us. This is awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, before we go, Ryan, thank you for bringing us yeah. over this project, yeah. seriously. Yeah, thanks, hey, this wouldn't have happened without you. Thank no. you, guys. You guys did amazing. I'm very glad to have you guys. Um, okay. All right, I'm going to end the broadcast. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank Bye, you everybody. So much. Drive safe. <laughs> Drive safe. <laughs>